Auto Union versus Mercedes is a racing battle unlike anything seen before or after. In the mid-1930s, Germany was going through a period of change and this of course led to massive advances in technology which proved itself on the racing circuits. Auto Union and Mercedes battled out to become the most dominant racing teams on the planet and were almost completely untouchable in any race that they entered. Some of the most legendary drivers of their time took to the wheel of these infamous cars which were also gained the wonderful nickname the Silver Arrows which could be both applied to both Mercedes and Auto Union. And now we're here in 1936 at the wonderful Bremgarten where we're going to try and recreate some of that spirit that just simply took over the Grand Prix scene. And in this race, we're going to be taking control of none other than the Auto Union Type C, an absolute monster putting out about 580 horsepower with a wonderful 6 litre V16 engine designed by none other than Ferdinand Porsche. Our opponent will be the wonderful W25 from Mercedes and we are starting on second on the grid to give ourselves a fighting chance because this could be one of the most difficult races I've ever done in sim racing and is a perfect example of what can be achieved through a set of Corsa and the wonderful modern community. So let's go to the grid and have a look and see what's facing us. Right, here we are on the grid and this is a slightly different um, place. I'll be, I'll be normally sat in the car but I'm scared, I'm really scared. This is a race which I've been avoiding for a long, long time. And that's finally, I've decided to finally do it. You know, I've, I've pushed the boat out a little bit lately with Le Mans 1970, Watkins Glen 67, and all that jazz. So this is really probably the worst one. This is gonna be so difficult, but like I said, I've put in lots of practice with this uh, auto union that is you're looking at here and I've got to say it's not so bad once you get used to it the key is to just be gentle with this thing don't don't push it to its extremes you just got to be extremely tame with it and just take it gently and that's the most important thing if as soon as you start pushing and just trying to go the extra mile forget it it will punish you so the best thing to do my advice is just relax just keep relaxed just keep steady with this thing because this is probably undoubtedly the most difficult car to drive in a set of course so it's made by Gary Patterson I'll leave a link in the description as usual as along with all the other cars that is our opponent over there that's the Mercedes W25 made by his dog Sim Studios and probably one of the best sounding uh, cars you can find and one of the best um, quality mods out there it really is stunning and when we get underway you will hear what I mean I've featured it in the best sounds of a set of course uh, uh, episode one I think it's like a second car in I think and yeah it's it's amazing I've even done a test race just to you know kind of get used to other cars being around and I'm okay but as soon as I started pushing it all help boat loose. So the best thing to do is just stay calm. I, I feel like I'm prepared to go over the top or something. <laughs> it does have that same energy. But, I mean, there's the rest of the grid. I don't know if you can hear me right, but that's the rest of the grid. We've got a couple of Alfa Romeo's down there. They're not um, era authentic, because we haven't really got any um, of the 12 Cs. These are 37 spec. Uh, this is 1936, a Primgarten, of course. What a wonderful track this is. I do want to come here in real life just to see what this area looks like. I know this road still exists, but it'd be interesting to see if there's anything else remaining. But there's the V16 at the back there. Obviously, a rear engine vehicle like this, or mid engine technically, very unique for, for the time. One of the first, and definitely for a long time the most successful. It wasn't until the 1960s where we start, well, the late 50s, where we started seeing uh, mid-engine or rear-engine vehicles in Grand Prix racing. 
And this is actually quite weird because I'm standing here looking at this and I'm pretty much the exact same height as what it actually is when I saw this thing at Goodwood. It's really weird. And the only downside to this mod is uh, the sound. The sound is quite tame for what it actually is. Now I've stood next to this whilst it was revving and uh, I think it caused permanent ear damage. <laughs> It was so loud, and obviously I've turned everything down for your enjoyment, um, so you won't get the full immersion, but I highly encourage you to download these two cars and have a go yourself, uh, and I'll leave a link in the description as always, and honestly, I've had to really mentally prepare myself for this race. We've got uh, Caracciola, if I'm pronouncing it right, on pole position, the grid is accurate to how it was. And uh, we got, uh, if I'm, I'm trying to read it backwards, we've got uh, Varsi, uh, Von Brauchic <laughs> in the uh, Mercedes, the other Mercedes there, and Herman Lang on the one on the left, and I'm taking the uh, position of Bernd Rosemar um, on second. I thought it was on the right, but it's not, it's actually on the left. I thought I'd hope to have that inside line over there. But as usual, I've gone on too long, I think. Oh, God. <sighs> relax. That's all I've got to do is relax. And I was literally just about to <laughs> rest my hand on the wheel there. Um, but, yeah, this is, um... It's insane. God. Everyone's watching, waiting, and you're, you guys are watching me. Oh, deary me. I'm, I'm so nervous, honestly, I'm so nervous. Are you nervous? Because I am. Right, guys. <laughs> Let's get on with this. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be absolutely terrifying, but listen to the sound of that W25 when it takes off. Lots of wheel spin. Here we go. Five laps of Bremgarten is away. Already up to second. Now you hear that awesome sound, that W25. I'm gonna break now, this is my breaking spot. I'm just gonna stick to it, I don't care. I'm just gonna be gentle, that's the most important thing. I've got five laps to be gentle. I managed to complete five laps in practice without hitting or spinning out or anything like that. So I know I can do it and I've just gotta do it again. But now there's other cars involved. And you notice I'm out of breath because this thing is an absolute beast to control and that Mercedes in front I would love to be driving that right now it's one of my favorite cars to drive in fact it's wonderful HSS have done an absolutely wonderful job of it even though it's not even finished yet and an absolute joy to drive but on this occasion it is my enemy that I have to defeat see there's two battles going on here we've got my fight with uh, with uh, Mercedes and a fight with myself to just to uh, keep on the track. I'd like to keep in first for this one. But we're keeping with it, which is the main thing, that's a good sign. But now we can unleash the Auto Union's superior speed. It's a lot faster than the W25 in front. But might not be able to make the overtake purely because of the way this uh, the uh, nature of this circuit. Very fast, but very twisty and bendy. A lot of accidents can occur, as you may have seen in uh, the Stock F1 series. <laughs> Definitely go check it out. But we're still keeping this Mercedes in sight. I've crashed into that shed there before. Now if you want a little tip with this car, stab the throttle whenever you can to regain a bit of uh, authority over this thing. It helps, trust me. For some reason, it helps. So if you're in a bit of a tricky spot, 
just stab the throttle. Go right out the back side for this Mercedes. Oh, it up to third. Listen to that war. I'm not too, I can't quite remember what the uh, Mercedes is packing, but we've managed the first lap. Without dying. I'm gonna break now. I'm not too sure where the other cars are. I'm avoiding really looking into my mirrors because I'm concentrating so much on the uh, what's going on in front. Normally I'll be looking all over the place, but not on this occasion. Really close to Caracciola there. I'm going to say Caracciola for now on. Caracciola? No, it's Caracciola, isn't it? Yeah. That's where I like to stab the foot. It helps get through that corner. But so far, I'm pleased with how it's gone. Go down to first, first corner. I'll try going through here. In second, in practice, it just didn't really work. <clears throat> now, to get past this Mercedes, is probably going to be one of the hardest overtakes I've ever done. And it's one I'm not looking forward to, I've got to be honest. There's a far section now, almost near flat out, throughout, up to third, through this left hander. Absolutely brutal, we've caught right up to the, uh, the Merc already. See, one of the things I did wonder this morning when I was walking to work, when the modern Mercedes in F1 reaches the... Uh, W25, what are they going to do? They're going to, they've already got the W25. <laughs> they just fueled this one. <laughs> Always got time for a joke. Oh, it locks up slightly there, I noticed that. Carrot Chola. My eyes are glued to the road. This is such an awkward breaking spot. That's where I drifted it accidentally in that uh, photo I posted on the community post. God, listen. Oh, I'm stuck behind here. I can't hear my own car. Oh, I drifted it through there. Completely by accident as well. Oh god, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, I'm just going to keep it easy. Oh god, 139. Um, 139. 239. That's my quickest slap around here so far. Finally got under the 40s. I'm happy with that. I can end the race now. Side by side for the quarry, this is dangerous, this is so dangerous, this is so dangerous. All right. We've done it, boys. We made the overtake, no way. I cannot believe that. That was horrible. Give me credit for that. Go side by side through quarry. I won't even do that in modern F1 cars, let alone. Oh. Held it. I know what I'm doing. Uh, 
how typical me just to immediately ruin it. And I've got another auto union, I believe. I'm not looking at it. But so far, I just don't want him to overtake me because that would ruin my chances. But yep, yeah, typical me to have a great overtake like that. Probably one of the best I've ever done. And then immediately ruin it. But I'm confident we can catch up with the W25 down here with the Auto Union superior speed. I've got to do it again. Damn it. Remember, relax, take it easy with this thing. So we've got to do to be successful. Normally, in my videos, I'm very, you know, very, I don't know, plain sailing. I don't really take it seriously, but on this occasion, I'm having to concentrate so much with this thing. That auto union behind me, not too sure. It might be, uh, oh, pff, I can't think right now. Got the crash into the shed. Like I've done so many times before. And this auto union is giving me grief. I really don't want him to. Slight touch of braking. Right, break, 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 break. Alright, cool. Right back up to it. About to start the four flap out of five. Show go side by side for quarry again. I don't think my brain can cope with that. It's a very small one. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Remember, easy, gentle, 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 gentle. Oh, this thing's absolutely crazy. I'm surprised I've made it this far and I'm still second. And briefly first. Right, caught right back up with him again. Break now. Can I send it into the inside? No, it blocks me off. How dare you? Yeah. Right, let's try and not hit that wall again. So I'm gonna have a slight touch break in. Avoided it nicely. Power on the exit. Break. Here we go, battle time again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the battle of the century. <gasps> he goes wide, he hits that fence, which is solid. And we could make the overtake, I don't know where he is, there he is. How am I able to talk whilst doing this? I do not know. Right, first. Keep it on the inside, I don't want to touch him at all. Now I'm hearing that supercharger. Oh, I'm first. Couldn't hear him. Now we've got that horrible task of trying to keep him front while he's got that whining supercharger haunting me. Probably one of the most haunting sounds in sim racing or just in general. Just hearing that behind you getting closer and closer. God awful. Right. Now I've got to ask. Just keep it on the road. That's all I've got to do. Just relax. Just keep it on the road. And win this race. Which will be an absolute achievement for me, honestly. A race which I've been dreading to do for a long time on this channel. Didn't think I'll be able to do it, but... Here we are. But let's not think about that now. We've still got about a lap and a half or a quarter to do before we can think about that. <sighs> Nearly messed it up there. This is a roundabout nowadays. If you did not know, that house is still there. Right, this is where I can get away from Carachola a little bit. I can still hear that supercharger. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys would have seen one of my earliest videos of me trying to break the lap record around here. How wrong I was and how unprepared of how difficult it was. Fast forward nearly a year. Here I am leading a race with this bloody beast. Which can be tamed, just needs a bit of care. And bloody bravery. <laughs> Sideways action. 
always great in this car. Okay, a bit of breathing. Breathe for a minute. Well, two seconds, to be precise. And I, still, guys, I'm keeping my eyes trained on the road. I'm not looking at the scenery. I'm not being silly. Right, let's keep it gentle. No late braking is completely unnecessary. Leading the race, still leading the race. This has been so difficult. It's so intense in this beautiful. I mean, it's one of my favourite cars. Uh, when I went to Goodwood, I saw a huge crowd that was surrounding this car. It made me very happy. And I hope this one, this video, somehow has made you happy and inspired you to do the same thing. So guys, if this video, I'm going to do that thing which most YouTubers do, if this video reaches 30 likes, and it's not much, but I'm a small channel, I will race this thing on the Nürburgring. Yep, you heard it here first. I will race this thing on the Nürburgring. Same opponents, same car, same everything, just the Nürburgring. Something I really don't want to do. Or spa. Nah. Nurburgring, Nordschleife, 30 likes. Hit that like button and I'll do it. I promise you that. Oh my god, guys, we're near the end. I am sweating. The heating is on in here. And I am bloody sweating. But we're just yards away from beating the Mercedes and achieving. What an achievement. Okay. And Prem Garten 1936 Swiss Grand Prix. I've done it. P1. <laughs> oh my god. I am astonished. I'm actually lightheaded. That took so much energy. Come on, go past me. I want to see you. I want to show you my look of smug. No, you're not gonna. Don't mind. Oh my god. <laughs> we actually won that. No way. Oh. I'm able to tame you now. You are nothing. <laughs> No, you are still stuffing. Don't worry. I'm tapping my wheel because that is. <laughs> Guys, please give me credit for that. That was just an absolute joy, but also an absolute difficult. I don't, I don't even have the words to describe how that feels to actually achieve that. To get around here in five laps. I know it's not much. Morning. It's not much. And you can tell I'm out of breath. I was fine before this, but honestly, this was something, this was something else and big credit to the people or the person who made this car and also made the ones that are currently stuck behind me in this cool down lap, there it goes, Mercedes W25, huge credit to Historic Sim Studios for the creation of that. Daniel Fidley and their team, his team, absolute credit to you. You've done so well for the historic sim racing scene. You should be very proud. And I hope I've done somewhat, a little bit of justice. <sighs> wow. I'm enjoying this a bit. <laughs> I'm making the most of this. This won't happen too often. And the other thing I've thought about, maybe I should do like a sort of a side series where I try and do like a season driving this thing. Would you be interested? And have I earned your respect now? Do you like me now? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding with you. Right, I'm going to end the video here. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. This one took a lot of effort and I'd really appreciate a like and a comment and especially a subscribe. And uh, don't worry, there's going to be 
lots more historic sim racing from me as we go through the years. I've also got another one planned for next week, so have a look at that. And of course, this Sunday begins season three of the historic uh, F1 uh, series and the Argentine Grand Prix at Buenos Aires. So have a look out for that. It's going to be a blast. Probably won't be as intense as this one, but you never know. You never know. So until the next one, guys, I hope you're all well. Have a great weekend, or whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to go and have a beer. I feel like I've earned it. And I'll see you later. Goodbye. Fuck yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's, that's better than sex, that is. <laughs>